So welcome to the mouse toggle for Android TV custom edition. Custom because we can now activate the virtual mouse with any button on our remote control. After my last video, I just received so many comments. People were saying that my remote control doesn't have a play button or my remote control doesn't have a mute button. How can I activate a virtual mouse with that? Well, with the custom version of Mouse Toggle for Android TV, we can now activate the virtual mouse with any button that we like. So in the background, we can see I'm using my TiVo Stream 4K and I've just configured this remote control. So if I hold down the one button for a few seconds, so one, two, I now have a virtual mouse I can use on my TiVo Stream 4K. I can move around, I can even scroll and I have complete control of that cursor using my remote control. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get the mouse toggle for Android TV custom edition on all of your Android devices. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So whichever Android TV device you're using, just open up your favorite browser and navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Alternatively in downloader, we can use the short code, which is 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And when you get to my site, click on the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines and then click on tutorials, scroll down, and we can see we have the mouse toggle for Android TV tutorial here. So let's click on that. So I've left the original version of the mouse toggle in the tutorial. But if you scroll down, we can see I've now added the custom version as well, which is just under this. Here it is. So the MT ATV custom button mod. So this is the version that will allow you to choose any button on your remote control to activate your virtual mouse. So let's click on that, scroll down, and click on the green download button. Install that onto your device and then press the home key. So I'm gonna demonstrate the virtual mouse on three Android TV devices, on the TiVo Stream 4K, on the Nvidia Shield Pro, and also on the Chromecast with Google TV. Now, as you guys know, on the Nvidia Shield Pro, you can just use the standard mouse toggle, which is activated with the play button, but Lots of you are asking how we can use this newer version because this one does have some extra features like you can control the speed of the scrolling and you can also go through the side. So I can go from the top, it comes from the bottom and if I go to the left, it comes out from the side. So that really does speed up the navigation when you can go through the sides and from the top and bottom. Okay, so on the TiVo Stream 4K, you just installed the new version of the mouse toggle. The first thing you need to do is go over to your settings Go into Applications, go to Special App Access, find the display over other apps. Let's click on that. Scroll down and make sure you enable the permission for the MATVT application, which is the mouse toggle for Android TV. Let's now turn that on and this will give the permission so we can see the cursor over our other applications. That's the first thing we need to do. And let me just say, it's very important that you follow these steps in the correct order. So step number one, install the application. Step number two, give the display over other apps permission. And step number three is going to be give the accessibility permission because if you don't do it in the right order, you may end up losing your remote control functionality. So make sure you do these in the correct order. Okay, so we've just done step number two. Let's back out of this, back again, back one more time, go into device preferences, scroll down, and we're now going to grant the accessibility service permission. So let's click on that. And here we can see the mouse toggle service. So let's click on that once, click on enable, and click on okay. Now you've done all of the steps in the correct order. The last thing we need to do now is to configure the key. So if I go to configuration, and we can see that the custom version of mouse toggle has this extra screen and a big shout out to Sween Wolf who made this possible. So firstly, we can confirm that we have all of the correct permissions, the overlay permissions, the accessibility permissions, and we now have the option to override the activation key. So I can now click on that 
And this is now basically asking you what key do you want to use to activate the virtual mouse? Now in Android, there's a predefined list of keys. So each of the buttons on the remote control does have a corresponding key. So for example, the play button is key code 85, and that's the key code I'm going to be using on the Nvidia Shield. And I will leave a link in the video description where you can basically find all of the different key codes for every possible button on every possible remote control. And because this remote control just has so many buttons, I'm just gonna allocate button number one to activate the virtual mouse. Now the key code for button number one is actually eight. So I'm gonna click on the select button here and type in the key code eight. Click on okay. Let's now click on save. It says the new key is eight. So let's see what happens when I press and hold the one button. We now have a fully working virtual mouse. And in all cases to activate the virtual mouse, you have to hold down whichever button you've assigned. So in my example, on the TiVo Stream 4K, I have now assigned button number one on my remote control, which has the key code eight. Now, when you activate the mouse for the first time, it's now in normal uh, navigation mode. So you can move around, you can go through the sides. I can now click on save, for example. Let's press select on that. That's working great. If I now press the back button, and let's now say I want to scroll down the screen. Well, the way you scroll is if you again press your activation button, so in my case is number one. So you press that just once, and we can see now when I press down on the remote, and actually starts scrolling down. And you can also scroll left and right by just pressing right on the remote. And that's basically the scrolling feature. And if you want to go back into navigation mode, just press your activation button once. So in my case is button number one again. And we're now into normal pointing mode. And it's working absolutely fine. And if you want to turn off the virtual mouse, just hold down your activation button. So let me hold that down. And we're now back into normal D-pad mode. And that's how easy it is to use a virtual cursor on your TiVo Stream 4K. And I'm now going to jump over to the Chromecast with Google TV because even though in my last video, lots of you managed to get the virtual mouse working with the mute button, Lots of you are saying that you actually prefer to use the mute button for your normal TVs. And is there any way we can activate the mouse with another button? So let me show you how you can do that right now. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you like this video and leave the comment below, hashtag mouse, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I sincerely appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Okay, so on the Chromecast, you've installed the application again, and we wanna make sure that we give it the permissions in the correct order, which is firstly to go to applications, go to special app access, go to display over other apps, and make sure you've given this permission first. Once you've done that, let's now press the back button, back again, back one more time. Let's now go to system, go to accessibility, scroll down, and make sure you've turned on the mouse toggle service. So let's click on that click on enable, click on OK, and we can now go to configuration. And we can see by default, it is set to use the activation key 164, which actually equates to the mute button on your Chromecast uh, remote. Now, as you guys discovered that for that to work on your device, you have to make sure that you're not using the remote control to control your TV's volume and the mute feature. So you basically can't use that at the same time with the mouse toggle unless you change the activation button. So, I mean, on this small remote control, we don't really have many buttons to play with, but one of the ones that definitely works is the home button. So if I click on the activation key and the key code for the home button is actually the number three. So let's type that in. Let's click on okay and click on save. It says the new key is now three. And if I now hold down the home button on my Chromecast, so one, two, we now have a fully working virtual mouse I can use on my device without using the mute buttons. So do give a thumbs up for that. And again, we can see I can press the back on the remote. So we can see currently I'm in scroll mode. Let's open up uh, the Aurora store. Just to confirm that the mouse is fully operational, um, I can move around. I can click on something. I can go to uh, my apps, for example. So moving around is working, clicking on things is working. And if I want to scroll down, 
we can see by default because I'm in navigation mode, that's just going to go through the bottom, come out from the top. So how do we activate the scroll mode again? We just press the activation button once. So one press of the home button, so one click. So now when I press down, we can see that's now scrolling absolutely fine. And that's the virtual mouse working absolutely fine on the Chromecast with Google TV. Let's now jump onto the NVIDIA Shield for the final test. So here we are on my NVIDIA Shield. Again, I've installed the application. I'm gonna scroll down, make sure I've got the display over other apps permission assigned. Once I've done that, press the back button and make sure I've turned it on inside the accessibility. So here is the mouse toggle service. Let's now click on enable, click on okay. Let's go to configuration. We can use the activation key 85 because that corresponds to the play pause button. So let's now click on save. And now on my NVIDIA Shield, if I hold down the play pause button, we have the virtual mouse here. So again, as you've seen, I can scroll down, scroll back up, and that's basically the mouse toggle working on your NVIDIA Shield. And I will leave that link in that pinned comment. So if you do want to activate the mouse with any other button on your remote control, you can definitely go ahead and do that. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do hope that with this custom version of the mouse toggle, all of you guys can now enjoy a virtual mouse on all of your Android TV devices. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.